Everyone keeps asking me the question, who can make YouTube shorts? The answer simply is everyone, including you. So many people are looking to see how to create YouTube shorts so they can take advantage of them and grow their YouTube channel. The requirements are actually really simple. All you need to do is make a vertical format video less than 60 seconds long. Now, if you've been thinking about getting into YouTube or giving your channel a boost, YouTube shorts could be the way to do it. Now, while some people are having great success with YouTube Shorts, others are finding it a bit of a waste of time, but I'm gonna show you in this video how to grow your YouTube channel and take advantage of this new feature. Currently, YouTube Shorts are still a bit of a mystery to most of us. Shorts are different because each video is in a vertical format, which previously was seen as a no-no on YouTube, and they're less than 60 seconds. Shorts need to feel like a complete story within the video itself. You don't want to use YouTube Shorts to tease other videos on your channel. I hear so many people talking about that. You want to be thinking of YouTube Shorts as standalone content that can stand on its own two feet. So ask yourself this question. What is the one thing that my viewers will get from this when you're producing an idea for a YouTube short? Keep in mind that there's one focus and one action for every short, no more. You want people to come and feel like, I'm glad I took 60 seconds to watch that. You wanna make sure it's something you can give full justice to in 60 seconds. So what type of content will work for that? Well, a tutorial could work, but only if it's a micro tutorial. A review could work, but only if it's a micro review. If you're giving a review or a tutorial, choose only the juiciest part. And this is going to come down to a lot of editing because when it comes to a short, you're talking literally seconds. Within 60 seconds, you have to be precise with what you're saying. Each short needs to be snappy and it needs to be delivered in a punchy attention getting way. So have one focus and one action you want people to take. Don't ask them to like or comment or anything like that. Your one action on every single short is to invite them to subscribe. The one thing you need to focus on when creating your videos with your call to action is to get the subscribe. Forget the like button, forget the dislike button, forget the comments as well. You need to focus on getting them to click the subscribe button. You have 60 seconds or less to hold their attention. So by getting them to like, share, subscribe, all these things is way too much in that period of time. Focus on getting the subscribe and everything else like the comments and the shares and stuff like that will happen automatically. The entire goal of your short is to build up your subscribers. I can't say it enough. Just keep that in your mind every time you're planning a short. At some point during the video, you're going to be inviting them to subscribe. If you start getting those shorts out and you start getting people who are subscribing to your channel and watching other videos, it will be good for your overall channel health. When it comes to uploading videos, it's actually quite simple. You upload it in the vertical format. YouTube sees that it's in the vertical format. And then as you're uploading it, you add hashtag shorts to the title and or the description. Cut it down to 58 seconds or less. The reason for the 58 seconds is if it's longer for some reason, YouTube tacks on additional seconds. I have yet to discover the reason why it is, but they do. So once you pull together your clips and you have it clipped down to the correct time, next you're going to put text onto your short. You're editing text onto it because one, it adds interest, but it'll also allow you to put in your call to action to subscribe. Within the short shelf on YouTube, it's currently looking like it's taken them three to six days to index it as a short. And what that means is before that time, it's probably not going to show up in shorts anywhere. Don't worry. If you add hashtag shorts, if it's in the right format in less than 60 seconds, YouTube does know that it's a short and there's nothing else you need to do at that point. It's really up to the algorithm to decide if they're going to put your video onto the shelf, but that's ultimately where you want to get and where a lot of creators are seeing the most growth. To get there, you need compelling content. So let me answer a few common questions about YouTube Shorts. 
What type of video should be made as shorts? Number one is to do a comparison video of this versus that. Maybe you want to compare different tools or different software. A comparison video will show off this versus that and that's perfect. Remember these videos are very short and a minute goes by pretty quickly. Number two, you might choose to do maybe a series of three different tools of the trade, depending on what they are. Quick tips and tools of the trade type of things definitely do well in the YouTube Shorts format. Number three is myth busting. This type of video can be beneficial because it shows off your expertise. It shows off your knowledge and your insight as a thought leader in your space. Number four is a before and after. Showing the visuals of the before and after would be especially effective in YouTube Shorts format. Number five is facts. Just the main facts and figures and compelling statistics or startling to statistics from your industry, this would be sort of like a video infographic. Number six would be compelling clips. Interview clips or excerpts from interviews that you have, maybe in a longer form, but you take a little portion of that, extract it out, and turn that into a YouTube short. Can you use cards and end screens for shorts? Because a YouTube short is a regular video when you upload it, you can add end screens or interactive cards. And if somebody watches it through the regular YouTube player, they will appear. But if they watch it as a YouTube short, those will not be seen. So I wouldn't recommend trying to add them into your content. Do shorts have to be recorded from a phone? Absolutely not. You can use the YouTube Shorts camera feature when it's available, but you can upload short videos from your desktop computer and have them appear as YouTube Shorts. Do subscribers gain from YouTube Shorts count toward YouTube monetization? Well, it looks as if the subscribers do count. As for watch time, that's an entirely different matter. What about advertising? Right now, they don't have ads on Shorts, but I would not worry about that because the purpose of Shorts for your channel is to get interest and get people over to your channel and get them to subscribe. Can you make a short from an already existing YouTube video that's horizontal? What you can do is take the horizontal video and put it in a vertical format. I do this using a program called Clipscribe, which not only lets me reformat it, but allows me to put the text and captions on the video. We have a video on Clipscribe right here. You can access it. Should I be concerned about copyright issues? YouTube Shorts follows the same copyright content system as normal YouTube videos. If you were to upload a regular video to YouTube that would get a copyright claim or strike, exactly the same thing is going to happen with a YouTube Short. Is it really even worth it to make a shot if you're a small channel? YouTube shorts are a new thing. There's less competition, so you can mark your territory right now, but it's quickly filling up. When will the YouTube Shorts app roll out to other countries? Well, technically, YouTube Shorts is now available to everybody. If you make a video of less than 60 seconds in a vertical format, then it could be considered a short. Here's a quick recap on making your shorts as successful as possible. Keep them 58 seconds or less, shoot them in the vertical format, put the hashtag shorts at the end of the title and in the description, create a wide variety of content as you never know what will stick or what YouTube will promote. YouTube shorts are a fresh way to watch and create video content. Will it hang around? Hard to tell. This is a playground right now and everybody is testing it, trying to learn what works and what doesn't. Don't stop making shorts with the expectation of immediate success. See it more as an opportunity to experiment. If you're starting to get some results rolling in from producing your own shorts, we would love to hear it in the comments, so share it with our community. Make sure you subscribe and check out this video next and keep pushing forward and making money online to build your online business.